Hey world, how are you today on this great Thursday, almost the weekend? I'm doing good, just um, on my way to the store. I'm going to make some spaghetti tonight, but I don't have any garlic bread and I need some spaghetti sauce, so nothing major. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing fabulous, fabulous, and I'm riding dirty because I don't have my seatbelt on, I don't have my seatbelt on. Y'all ready for the game tonight? the NBA Finals finally it seemed like they've been playing basketball forever everybody hating on my heat but you know I'm like they're good I mean why why everybody always hate on the good team like back in the day everybody used to hate on my Chicago Bulls because of Michael Jordan and the Scotty Pippen and the, all the other ones now it's about to rain and it's a this a bleak block block. I can't believe it's raining. I mean, it, it's been like looking like it's gonna rain all day, but now it's raining. I mean, the motorcycle better go back home. But anyway, but yeah, I'm so lazy today, y'all. After that workout I did yesterday, my body is like, what were you thinking? <laughs> my legs feel like jello. Yellow! Yellow! Yeah, it does. It does like yellow. I cannot believe it's raining like this. Y'all hear the rain? I know y'all can. Wow. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. I went like not even two miles up the road from my house. And it wasn't even raining when I left the house. But anyway, yes, I'm just gonna make some spaghetti tonight. I'm just tired today. I don't, I don't feel like I'm lazy going today. I don't feel like doing nothing at all. Whatever. Make some spaghetti and watch the game. And my husband, he gonna come home. Y'all, this is what he gonna do. He gonna come home. He gonna be all excited about the game. And, you know, he gonna be all posted up and. Yeah, babe, let's go heat. Let's go heat. That's what he does, y'all. Let's go heat. Yeah, right. Man, he get in that bed. But second, third quarter, he be out. Knocked out. Don't know what's going on. Don't know who went. That cracks me up, y'all, all the time. Because y'all should see him. I should record him when he come home. Like, he be on 10 about the game. Like, he be talking about the game. And, you know, because him and his son... They always bet on the games and all that stuff because my stepson, he hates Miami. So, you know, they always be going back and forth. And, I mean, they be like, go oh, eat, go my husband, like, go, oh, you know, I'll be all excited. Y'all, especially as I can feed him real good. He like a kid, you know what I'm saying? Get him home, get their belly full. Next thing you know, they be knocked out. Uh, it cracks me up. It happens all the time, especially like during football season. Yo, on Sunday, he starts out real good. Like, during the day, he's good. Like, you know, he he has Sunday tickets, so he can watch every single football game. Because my husband type of person is, he loves football. Like, that's his passion. He loves football. And he doesn't really have a particular team that he cheers for. He just loves football. And he bets, and, you know, him and his son, they bet on games and stuff like that. So... You know that morning he'll get up and he watching all the pre-football stuff and he listens to all the you know Dion and Michael and them all them about you know what's who gonna win and you know he's all into it y'all he gets downstairs in his game day chair he calls it and he's all ready and he does good like on Sunday like he with the game you know usually starts at one and he'll watch like all the games that's on four o'clock game come on he watched all the games but boy when that when that game come on at night the eight o'clock game or whatever 
he be struggling, y'all. It'd be so funny because I didn't, about that time, I done made dinner. He done ate. He done got full. He's sitting down there. And it's so funny, right? He'll try to stay in his game day chair because he may, he won't fall asleep as fast. But when I see, when I go down there and I see him in that bed, then I know it's about, about five more minutes. He out. And what I do, I usually stay upstairs. I watch the Falcons because I like the Falcons. So I watch the Falcons. And after the Falcons go off, you know, I usually watch Lifetime or whatever else is on TV, right? So I always look downstairs to see, you know, if he sleep because we sleep downstairs. And so he... <laughs> I always look down there to see if he's asleep or not and then I go down there and I change the channel he gets so mad he's like I was watching that I'm like no the TV was watching you you were not watching the game but that's just he's hilarious like for somebody to be so hyped about a game you you would think they would stay up and watch the whole game you know he never he is he never makes the late games during the day, he's fine, but them late games, like the game probably don't come on to 8 o'clock tonight or whatever, he'll be asleep halfway through the game. I'm going to have to vlog it so y'all can see what I'm talking about, and y'all going to crack up laughing because you're going to be, be like, she is exactly right. Yeah. That's my husband. You got to love him. Now it's sunshine and there's no rain in sight. <laughs> this is so crazy. I guess we just haven't scattered thunderstorms today. Scattered showers today. Anyway, I should get in here and get out, get what I need and get out. No drama. I swear, I really just feel like picking up something quick take it back to the house already. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm so tired today, y'all. Uh, yes, me. I am. Um, I saw some great videos today on YouTube. Very interesting stories I've watched today. Um, people's lives and stuff and people overcoming different situations and you know that's it you know I mean life well I tell you life will throw you some curve balls y'all I can do a whole probably three four five six videos on all the crazy stuff I've been through in my life this has not been crazy it's just been like really like I don't know I have to tell y'all about it one day. I don't have the strength right now to do it. But no, I'm going to make a video about it. There's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, a couple things I want to talk about. You know, tell my story and my testimony. So I have a great testimony. So I'm going to tell my testimony. God's been good to you. And you've been through some things. And he's seen you through it. You know, you need to share it. Because somebody could be going through the same thing that you went through and they can see that you know they went through it so you know and they're fine so you know I think it's important to tell your story and to tell you know your testimony and how good God's been to you because you know some of the things I've been through I'm like Lord if it wasn't for you on my side okay baby and I'd be at the crazy house somewhere. Crazy. Real crazy. Shop please. So you gotta be thankful, you know, just thankful for your blessings and thankful for, you know, what you have in your life because life is short and you know you look up and you know, you out of here. So love on each other, y'all, and take care of each other and be kind to one another. I always try to say that because I just read so much horrible stuff. You know, these kids just bullying kids and even the grown folks just, you know, and that stuff stays with you for the rest of your life. You know, when you're told certain things and people do certain things to you as a child, 
you remember that, you know? So as I always say, be kind to one another and love each other, you know, through it all, you know? And don't be so mad at each other. Don't be holding grudges, you know? All that kind of stuff. Y'all don't let me get preaching to the choir because, you know, I can't preach to the choir. <laughs> I'm not going to do it today, okay? Okay. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We're at the Dollar General Market. What's going on at the Dollar General Market? All right, y'all. I'll try to vlog while I'm in here. Give y'all something to look at, I guess. Do you know how people do? They be looking, looking at you so crazy. It's so funny because it's so funny because people, everybody that I watch that blog, they all say the same thing. People are looking at you so crazy when you're in the store. It's so funny. Anyway. ready for the game it's nice and chilled nice and chilled now I just have to open it okay so I got my ground turkey going here need to turn it up a little bit need to crank it up crank it up and then I'm gonna use the uh, rigatoni noodles. So, and I got my breadstick from the grocery store. And I got my wine. So, I'm going to be set. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> How to get away with murder is coming this fall. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Jimmy Kimmel's on early because of the game coming on tonight. Do y'all watch Jimmy Kimmel? He's much bigger than I am, but we have a twist to make it for a ridiculous twist. That'll be funny, and we have a new show later tonight following your late local news. They canceled our senior. Can you believe that? I will take on the 13 year old nurse from the Scripps National Spelling Bee. And the brother can't get catch a break around here. Can't even keep a show on. Folks ain't trying to watch them. Now they want petitions. Keep them on, but if you didn't watch them, why do you want to sign a petition now? Crazy. I don't know. Poor Arsenio. He was ready for a comeback. 
Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my spaghetti and I'll show you guys the finished product. And we'll watch the game and drink some wine. Watch the game and drink some wine. Well, I'm almost done. I needed some tomatoes for my salad, and you guys know that I'm. I got some tomato plants outside. So I went and got some tomatoes from outside. Aren't they so cute? These are little tomatoes. But they're so cute. Isn't it little really cute? Little, little tomato. Little, little tomato. Oh. Okay, so here's the plate. I'm just going to put some tomatoes on top. And some salad dressing. And it's gonna be dinner for tonight. That's dinner for tonight. Yum, yum, yum. And the game is about to kick off. So I got my food. And Bron Bron is about to play. Hey Bron Bron. Hey Bron Bron. Because he can tap that, he can get there, and if he does that in this series, Miami's going to win. Okay. Uh, Let's see if I can rub his head for good luck. <laughs> well, it's been an awesome day today, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I sure appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, please comment on my videos. Let me know that I'm doing a good job, if I'm doing a bad job, or I need to do something, or if you guys want me to do something. Let a sister know. You know what I'm saying? I need to know. Talk to me, people. Leave comments on my videos. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. You better hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. We out of here. Oh,